Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I look kind of weird because I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff, which means it is my BoxyCharm unboxing. So, for December, it's my BoxyCharm. Um, I'm really excited to do this as always, so I'm going to get into it as quickly as possible. Just a few things. First, if you like the BoxyCharm videos, make sure to like this video so I know that I'm not just unboxing for myself. Um, and do make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do upload twice a week and I would love for you to get to share in all of the fun things I post. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as always, there is a theme. This month's theme is Glitz and Glam, which I love. So there are five products in here. I will be going through what's in there and it's the stuff I didn't put on my face. So I have not open touch swatched etc i did look at some of the stuff because i wanted to figure out how to multi-purpose it so let's reach in and begin so i just contoured which naturally means the next item for my face is the first item out of the box so from beauty basics this is the bronze essentials this retails for 39.95 and it is a little blush not blush it is a little bronzer, I wanna say palette, but it's just a strip. Now, I don't normally go for products like this, so I'm gonna like try and swatch. These are the three matte shades, which are kind of pretty, and then there are two more shimmery shades. One is a little bit more rosy, and one is like a pure gold. And if you like, Swirl your finger in there together. The color you get is, oh, it's actually a really pretty like semi sheen. So I'm gonna use this on the face today. I'm gonna using my R2 from Morphe. And I'm actually gonna be using this as eyeshadow today just to see how it wears. And I'll use like the matte shades as my crease shades and I'll be going in with that. So for the bronzer, I'm just gonna kind of swirl my brush in all of it. Ooh. That's gonna be a lot of shimmer on my vanity, and I'm just gonna bronze the face. Right off the bat, I don't normally go for a bronzer this warm, but I'm not disliking it. So it does look really nice. It blended out really nicely. It is not patchy at all. Yeah, I think this might actually be something I'll try again. I'm really excited to see how this performs as eyeshadow, so I'm going to come back to this in a little bit. So the next two items out of the box go together. The first is the Real Her Be Fearless Blush, Be Fearless Be Limitless Blush Kit. So this is a blush trio, let's get that plastic out. This is a blush trio of three luminous, well, one looks matte, two look luminous. So let's do Fearless, Limitless, and unstoppable. So these are the three shades. Let's go on the palm because why not? So you have a more terracotta shade, you have a more pinky neon shade, and then you have a luminous pink. So I'm gonna try that. And the second item I pulled out with that is the crown brush blush brush. Try saying that 10 times fast. So the blush kit retails for $32 and the brush retails for $12. Now this is a little bit more dense than I normally would use. I'll use a brush like this more to contour and not so much for blush, but I'm going to try it and see because sometimes when they send you something, they send a blush brush because they think it pairs better with this. So I'm actually feeling a little luminous today and there's no highlighter in here. So I, again, I'm going to be taking the shimmery shades from here to do a highlight. So I want to go with the luminous blush. So I'm gonna be taking Fearless, which is the more pinky shade on that new blush. Oh, it definitely picks up product. So, and I'm just going to gently work that onto the cheek. I like it. It's definitely not gonna be my favorite brush for blush. If you've been on my channel for any period of time, you'll know that for blush, I always go in with either the pointed brush, um, which is a blush brush from Moda Pro that I did get in my BoxyCharm and a NARS dupe from Japanesque that I got because Tati told me to. Um, so these are usually the brushes I'll go in when I'm doing blush, and you'll notice they're both a little more fluffy, whereas this is definitely a little more dense. I definitely like how it applied this blush, but I don't know if the brush is something I will use again. It is a good brush. I might wanna try it for contouring, but for me, I like more of a fluffy brush for blush. So for eyes today, 
on a fluffy brush. I already primed them. I'm gonna go into the Bronze Essential Mini Palette, and I'm gonna start with the lightest of the bronzy shades. There's definitely a lot of kick up when you swirl the brush, so the glitter kind of gets everywhere, but I'm gonna start with the lightest shade and just use that as a crease shade. Now, I am actually pretty, like, used to using bronzers as eyeshadows just because most of the time, if I'm trying to do something really quickly, I will just throw some bronzer in the crease and add some glitter and call it a day. So for me, a good bronzer is one that definitely performs on the eyes. Slightly more uh, well-packed brush, I'm gonna take the next darker of the bronzer shades, and I'm just going to take that a little lower in the crease. Finally, with like a dense packing brush, I'm gonna take that darkest brown and I'm just gonna use that to really define the outer V of the eye. On a really precise crease brush, I'm gonna take again that darkest shade in the middle and I'm just gonna take that into the crease because I do want to blend a little bit more definition on the crease itself. Okay, looking a little closer, the two shimmer brick colors are actually the same. So my first swatch, I guess one of them was just a little bit lighter, but they're actually the same. So I'm gonna take that on the entire lid with my finger. Okay, so the color on the lid is actually very subtle. I'm just gonna take those same shades on the lower lash line and I'll be right back. Okay, so the colors blend out really well, which is definitely a plus but I will say that the metallic is not really metallic enough to use as an eyeshadow. It is very powdery and it does kind of like fall, but that means that when you swirl all the shades around to use as a bronzer, it's definitely gonna blend a lot of that shimmer particle away. So if you're afraid of using this because it's a shimmer bronzer, you can kind of be okay with it because it definitely does translate more matte and the glitteriness does fall away. Next item out of the box, we're down to our last two, is the Tardiest Pro Mascara. Now this retails for $23, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and let's try this out. Now I definitely feel more biased because I have totally been wearing falsies a lot more lately than I usually do. So I'm, I'm not expecting miracles, I'm just expecting a good mascara. So, ooh, right off the bat, I like that the wand is very long and very thin because it's gonna be really good for the lower lashes. So I'm just gonna try it out and Let's see how it works. Okay, so this is something I'm definitely gonna have to try again because first impressions, because I haven't tried this before, I don't like it. I don't know if you could see the bottom lashes, but it took a lot of finessing to get this to look passable. I like the drama it's giving on the upper lashes and I feel like with falsies, this might be, might be good, but on its own, it doesn't hold up to my Lash Paradise, my Essence, my Roller Lash. Like it's just, it's falling a little short. And on the bottom, it was just too clumpy so on my lower lashes, I had to go in with a spoolie, I had to finesse it a bit, and it just took way too much. So this is definitely the item in the box I don't like so far. But for $21, all this stuff so far, the fact that this is the only real dud so far, I'm good with it. So the last item in the box is... So the last item in the box is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. This is... The My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. Okay, that's the, okay. So, Lightweight Liquid Lipstick in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. Now this is a really pretty like pinky, do I have room on there? Yes, I do. Really pretty like metallic pinky shade. So I'm really excited of the color variations we could have got. This is one I think I probably would like the most. So let's try it out. a really pretty shade. Now, 
I love shades like this because not that you can kind of just slap it all over the place, but with such a soft, pretty pink, with such a shimmer, you can really be a little bit less precise and it just looks much nicer right off the gate. So I actually love this, like standout product. I think that this is something I'm really gonna use often and regularly. Now I am gonna see if I try building it up, if it's still going to be this like sheer pinky or if it's gonna get a little more rose gold and see how that goes. Okay, beautiful. So the color is what you get. When you try and layer it up, it really doesn't change the color too much. So one swipe is plenty opaque to make this work. And I don't know if I said, but this is $24. So all in all, full retail for the box, it is $130.95, which the fact that I paid 21 for all this stuff, like even if I don't love the mascara, like I'm totally gonna get use out of the other items. I'm really excited to play around with the other three blush shades and see how the brush works for contouring. So all in all, definitely a really good box. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. I know that I was a little late to the game because I did get my box a little late this month. But that being said, like all the boxes are a million different variations and the people I've seen online with their boxes haven't gotten this stuff. So I was gonna do it anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.